This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome right back here with another episode of Front Mission 3. In the last episode, we dis we uh, apparently the JDF that was working for Lukov got back backstabbed kind of uh, off screen as the DHC has been going to descend amongst uh, uh, upon Japan to uh, uh, do Lukov's bidding. So uh, the the JDF uh, coup and uh, and uh, the well, basically both for variations of the JDF are working together to take care of that. We're on our way to take on Lukov, and uh, we had to take on her one of his last remaining lieutenants, Rosavia, where we barely survived with the help of Lenny shooting missiles from the rooftop. Uh, I actually ended up redoing that battle again off-screen, uh, and uh, I chose Yoon and uh, and uh, Lenny, and, or, well, I, I re-chose Lenny, but I swapped out Marcus for Yoon, and uh, she did a lot better because uh, uh, because of her rate of fire was not locking a lot more frequently than than hit the, the his double punch. So uh, go f go me, hooray for me! Anyway, let's get back onto the plot and see where we go next. This place is really bustling. DHZ is landing, of course it is. What's the current situation? Ocean City is under their control. The DHZ is now moving into the mainland Okinawa. They're trying to seize Midas along with Ocean City. Ocean City sounds like a, a, a an attraction for uh, for uh, marine wildlife, like Sea World, except not anymore. At least I think they've changed a lot of things about Sea World since last I checked. Anyway, are you just gonna sit there and watch? How do we get to Ocean City? Take a look here. I'm gonna show you. Bring up the map. We got holograms. We're fancy like that. Well, it is like the 23rd century or 24th or whatever. The only way to get to Ocean City is the bridge. If you check, I think if you go online, you can check Ocean City, like what it looks like. And uh, if you have the passwords from what they gave us before, uh, I think you can even get the map for it or something like that. But anyway, the only way to get to Ocean City is cross the bridge. But doesn't the DHC army have control of the bridge? No alternative ways, alternate ways. We could land at the civilian harbor, but that takes time. With our current equipment, the only way to it is by sea. Hit hard and fast. Like with his ladies. I mean, uh, that's right. Look at this. I mean, that's a standard military procedure. Strike quickly before the enemy realizes what's going on, although that's a bit more loose with the... Ooh, fancy pixelation. It's like a pentagram almost. Or no. Yeah, a pentagram. This is, or it looks like the pentagram, I guess, is the word I was looking for. This is the civilian residential area where Midas is being kept. You kept it in a residential area? Was that really a good idea? What if it went off? What if it exploded? Wow, it's pretty complicated underground. Complicated underground? What? What was even that word? Or what was even that says? It's a real fortress. Hold on, Midas is buried under the city? That's correct. How unbelievably stupid! Yeah, I said the same thing. S Sasaki's holding the civilian's hostage to keep us from Midas. He ended up hurting himself. This is the objective where Midas is located. The lowest level. Ah, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? We need to enter here within the city and then go through the climate control sector. Lukov will be expecting us, of course. Yeah, of course he will. The enemies always do. We never get a complete surprise on the enemies. Not the main bad guy, anyway. They're always too smart. Even though we beat them with sheer, weird pa sheer willpower, but whatever. That's the shortest pass to Midas. We don't have much time left. We'll have to go through this route. The route. I'm prepared. You're always preparing. Just go. This is the final battle. Be prepared. Well, I mean, it's the final set of battles, you know. But yeah, this is probably the best chance to... Well, I mean, you can always set up, do network in between, but you know what I mean. Are you ready? No, not yet. There are some supplies left in the hangar! The soldier on duty will help you! I 
think this is the final, like, shop-like thing in the game, I think, if I remember correctly. I think because the last every because the last the the last set of rule or battles are through Ocean City basically. Nazuki, Ryongo! Hey, we haven't seen you since episode like two or something like that. Something like that. It was all back. Shock and dismay. Doctor Kyoki, where were you guys? Have you been on the run this whole time? Oh yeah, I guess we just kind of bailed on it, didn't we? Wait, didn't we also email him too at some point or? No? Maybe not. What are you doing here? The DHZ military invaded Ocha City! We were evacuated! First the coup, now the DHZ invasion! What's happening to this country? I think most nationals of their particular country would say the same thing at any given day. We'll stop the DHZ. Are you fighting the DHZ military? Sort of. There's no time. I'll explain when we get back. All right! I'll wait for you! Come back live! I mean, we didn't know you that well, right? I mean, yeah. Alright, well, anything else you have to say, dude? I'll give you the password to Ocean City's website! You'll be able to download the blueprints to Ocean City! I've actually done that already. Ehoba. I did that at the beginning of the game when you could actually access it just, to, just because. Alright, let's see. I don't think there's any... Let me double check. I don't think uh, there's really anything new. Let's see... Um, uh, no. Nothing on parts. Backpack, anything you, you got? No high capacity, but no. Oops. Uh, weapons? Any new weapons? I don't think so. I think we've got most of the new weapons from the game. Oh no, we got some new melee. I think we got some new melees for uh, Mr. Uh, um. so, no, that's good. I'm just double checking. Oops, nope. I uh, don't need to do that. Computer, anything new to the computer. I might change, maybe I might change my computer out, see if I can get a, oh yeah, there's the computer that gives you a choir up. Um, well, we'll see, we'll see. No, nothing there. It doesn't, actually, let's see. I think there were new weapons for Marcus. I can do that on screen, that won't, that won't take but a hot minute. So. Actually, were there any, uh, I don't think there were any, uh, um, new, uh, shoulder weapons, were there? Eh, it doesn't look like it. I never did buy any grenade. I never, I usually almost never, I mean, I guess one way you could have gone is got given, like, your other missler a grenade setup, but, I don't know, I never felt it was really, um, necessary to do that. Let's see. And that, that should be the best, uh, shield. Yeah. Really, the only thing I saw was a uh, different, uh, an extra upgrade for his, uh, for his uh, melee. Oops, we gotta do the other arm. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, I think everyone's got arc four barrels. And I don't really use a. Uh... Actually, flamers would work with like uh, Yoon as well because it is considered a burst weapon. So you could get a uh, auto or whatever it is, a uh, shot one. The one that gives you a little extra bullets, that would actually work with it. But I'm always used to using shotguns or, or machine guns, really. But anyway, let's so. Why does it reduce your melee, but raise your attack? I mean, it's only a percentage, but still. Let me double check one last thing. Uh, nope. Yeah, Bell. Yeah, we're good to go. I mean, uh, you can still set up and everything off screen. I think we're fully upgraded. Let's see, yeah, seven, four, seven, four, four. Yeah, we've got final upgrades and everything, so we don't need to do that. But it'd be best to keep. I'd strongly suggest keeping a save here anyway, just in case. Uh, let's see, we're talking to you. All right, let's get out of here. On to the final set of missions. I mean, you can still go to the network and buy stuff, but I think there are certain parts that you can't get there as opposed to the actual shop, but anyway. All right, let's do it. I have multiple backup saves just in case if something happens, so. I've done it, I've done some LPing before, so. You always have backups. That's why I'm not a big fan of games that now do auto saves and don't let you do manual saves or at least give you multiple saves to click on, because... 
I mean, what if what if a recording issue messes up or something like that? I've had this, although it doesn't happen as often. But my machine, the thing I used to record, still messes up every once in a while, you know. Or my computer might shut off for some weird reason. Who knows? So. Oh well, whatever. I mean, I don't mind auto saving in general. It's just have a manual option too. Uh oh. Security looks strict. How are we gonna get through that, man? Wait, man? What? I, I don't know why that's just saying to seem anti Kazuki for some reason. Anyway, I'll create an opening. Rush in when you've got the chance. Are you in a tank or something? Oh, opening? How do you expect to do that? Aren't you on a transport, not an actual. Okay. He's. Christ, he's ramming us! Are we under attack? Attack, attack! Jeez, it's gonna ram us! I'm gonna ram him! Or he fails. Father! Well, that was stupid. Aren't you like a commander? I mean, that didn't seem like the most efficient way to do this. That's cr- That's crazy. That fool, he's gonna kill himself! Let's go! Gotta save my old man, because he's a moron. Alright, for battle time. Against the remnants of the DHZ and Lukov Swarp's forces. Alright. Um, I guess we could go with True Blue this episode. Go back to the main guys. Alright, for this one, um, we want anti-fire, unless you have a high evasive uh, leg leg units on your characters that are might have higher chances of, of uh, dodging. I don't think any of my guys are, have good evade. Ryogo could probably do decent evade, which what I mean the reason I mention that is because of all the grenade uh, grenade stuff that's going to be shooting on. If you have high evade, you might be able to dodge a, a decent amount of the damage that comes from that. So if you have a high evader like Ryogo with 47%, you might consider impact for him while everyone else is anti-fire. There we go. All right, let's do it. Oops. Actually, it doesn't really matter if he's one spider or the other. Not really. All right. Well, we'll see how this works. All right, let's see. Map looks pretty open. Very, no really good shots for. Well, I guess the tank there does some protection, but not too many units either, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, what do we got? Um, all right, got Young C3 with shotguns and no skills. Another Young C3 shotgun, no skills. Uh, a couple of uh, AFVs with machine guns, anti-piercing. Uh, same thing, anti-piercing. And yeah, there's the grenaders right here in the Layling ones with anti-piercing and Faust grenade shooters. Oof, nasty. Uh, let's see, no skills. And we'll say same thing, anti-piercing, no skills. Okay. So yeah. All right, let's. Uh, that's right, they all have anti-impact. Nuts. Okay, that's gonna suck. Let's see, what's the range? I think it's three to nine for their weapons, right? Three to six. Two, three, four, five, six. Although they're gonna move up eventually and hit us anyway, but for now, they'll uh, try to do an anti-shotgun you. Ouch. Ryogo, gonna get a little closer. All right, not bad, not bad. Just starting out, yeah, that's why I gave him anti-impact for those dudes anyway. Not gonna get zoom on those guys, that's for sure. Might as well focus all of them on one dude. Yeah, fights are going to take a little bit longer just because everyone's got a ton of HP now. <laughs> I mean, everyone's got, you know, the 1200 type of uh, setting, so we just have to kind of whittle people down little by little. God, why do you always... Why does everyone always go after Kazuki? Oh, that's right, he doesn't have any shields. Still. And why did you walk up next to him? You shouldn't have done that. 
You shouldn't have done that. Uh oh. Ah! Did it go hit at least his allies? Ow! Man, that hurts. I think I gave myself anti fire. Look at that! I've almost lost all my life, and he shot me once with with a with a, a grenade. Seriously, game. Guy, okay, I, I grenades are the worst. They really are. They're like the. Oh, and thanks for boxing him in so he can't get out. Ugh. Anyway, let's uh. I'm gonna have to move back. I need to I need to take out that guy so Kazuki can uh um escape so he doesn't keep getting grenaded in the face. Let's see what's his range at right now? One, two, three, five, six. I need to move him at least back here, so. Is that movable through? Yeah, I think so. That should be close enough to finish. There we go. Alright, let's move you. God, look at that. Almost all of his life, and he's got anti-fire. Can you believe it? Can you dig it? Yeah, that's what makes this fight so dangerous, is the frickin', uh, um, uh, frickin' grenaders. Oh good, thank you. Someone's attacking her for once. Oh yeah, you can speed up now, great, thanks! That's probably the end of Kazuki, it's gonna take two Actually, can you get completely killed by a... Uh, I don't know. Now he doesn't have any arms. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Uh, seriously. Screw off... Uh, um, screw grenade uh, uh, users. This guy, and they've got anti-piercing. Come on. Gotta take him out because you basically destroy Kazuki with like no effort. And they've got anti piercing too, so. Huh. And the range is like 3 to 6, so. Not that that would. Not that he was gonna counter with anything. Oh, man, that is a bit of a, a little bit of BS. The whole I have anti fire, and he still took a ton of damage. Uh, Kazuki did against that guy. I don't know. I feel like that. Ah, oh, come on! Oh my God, are you kidding me? Well, at least I separate my guys. So hopefully, all of them won't get like hit with the freaking. Now there goes Kazuki, he's gonna die one way or the other. I never get that lucky with my shots. Oh, come on, game. Let's see. I mean, I could, uh... Let's see if we can try to get... Oh, did I, did I destroy his, uh... No, I didn't. I wonder why. Oh, I guess just because of, uh... Let's see if I can get, uh, take him out. Hit him in the head uh, again with a headshot. There we go. Nice, Salvo. Take this guy out. Mess him up! What? Aw, oh, man. Alright. I 
Alright, hopefully I'll get enough hits on Okay, nice, okay. Good, won't kill Kazuki straight up, yo. Still, that was nice. Salvo, Salvo activating for the win. Punk. Oops, gotta get that missile. Gotta get me some missiles inside there. What's his range again? Three? Oh, that would hit me though. Well, at least he has anti fire, although he is an Erexin or whatever, so that means he's gonna be a bit more. Uh, um, that means he doesn't have as much HP for Oh, nice. Took out his arms. I don't worry about him shotgunning us anymore. Uh, I guess we'll stay there. Kazuki really can't do anything. Oh, that's right. He has fists. Alright. We'll, pun we'll have a punch off. Punch out. No, 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 no. Anyway. <laughs> hey, we boxed him in. Moron. Alright. Do that to you. Come on, couple shot? Aw, oh, man, come on. Oh, well. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, anyway. Uh, is she close enough to... Yeah, let's say that guy. Screw him. He's the one. He's he, he and the other guy basically destroyed our third or our fourth dude. Surrender? You don't get to surrender. No, we'll let you surrender. All right, let's get uh you back there. Actually, no reason, to, no reason to get punched if we don't need to do the extra damage. Probably not going to do very well in the ranking where, where it comes to um, taking little damage. See what? Yeah, you'll have to uh, block anyway. Might as well blast you with the sniper rifle. Boom. That gives us a ladling one at least. Hey, that works. Salva? No. I didn't think we would. But. Ooh. Alright, and make yourself useful, Kazuki. Hey, you did make yourself useful. You just got really bad luck. Alright. A little extra dough if I need to do some, like, last minute changes to my setup for the final bit of levels. Alright. I mean, it's such for Kazuki, but hey. Did better than the last fight, that's for sure. Oh, really? Oh, come on! It's because of those freaking grenades, man. Alright, anyway. Alright, take those. Yoink! Yoink! Oh, well, I got gold. I guess I can't complain. Yeah, some fights are just really hard to get platinum. And as far as I know, there isn't a unique or reward you get for platinum and everything other than just the bragging rights. I thought about, I mean, at the beginning of this playthrough, I thought about trying to do a, just a, a, a platinum run where I just only record my platinum like run fights, but after a while I, I realized that that wasn't fun for me, so at least I didn't think it was, but anyway. Father! Hey! Old man, you dead? Answer me if you're still alive. Oh, he is dead. Oh, shut up. <gasps> exclamation points. Double exclamation points. Over here. Moron. Hey. You expected a dead body, but it was I, Isao. Calm down, will you? You're okay. What were you thinking? 
Look at him just being a, a, a badass over there with his arms crossed. He's like, what? I, I, do it, I do this for breakfast. You have to be willing to risk it if you want Midas. Let's get going. And he just shrugs off his concern, their concerns, like, with, like, we got a job to do, dude. Yeah, they're definitely father and son. How do you figure? He acts just like you, Kazuki. Dot, dot, dot. I will slap you. Silly. <laughs> At least I think that's the look he's technically giving her. If it was an anime. I'm surprised they never tried doing an anime based off Front Mission. I think it would have worked. Oh, well, whatever. Not everything needs to be an anime or... But, luckily we haven't lost our father figure quite yet anyway. And the minus is just around the corner. Time to get to Ocean City and go deep, deep down into o Ocean City to get the minus. What else does Lukov have for us to stop us from getting there? Well, either way, we'll blast through, but find out how we do it in the next episode of Front Mission 3. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.